everybody, today we're doing a bolt action battle report and I'm just down at Century Box, my local gaming club, and it's going to be Italians versus Americans. And so for my army list, I have three units of U.S. infantry, um, all regulars. Even though these guys have some machine guns, they're modeled, my list has them as having uh, rifles for the um, NCOs. I've got a second lieutenant, um, I've got a medium machine gun, and I've got a Greyhound with the HMG upgrade. I didn't mention, but today it's 500 points. I don't know the Italian list really well, but essentially we've got a, a mortar team, a medium machine gun team, an artillery observer. He's got his infantry, which have light machine guns. And then he's got two squads of those. And then, of course, he's got his second lieutenant. Okay, so we're just going to, before we determine sides and things, I'm just going to have my opponent roll for a scenario. Two. And two is maximum attrition. So we'll be right back after we deploy. So we are at the end of round one. Essentially, I won the roll for um, deployment, so I deployed on this side of the table, over here with the Americans. Um, on my turn, um, not in real order here, um, we didn't have any firefighting yet. I essentially moved up my Greyhound up along this wall here. I've got my second lieutenant that I've just ran up here. I've got um, one unit here, one unit here, one unit here, and then my machine gun here. Um, I actually didn't leave anything in reserves. You can leave a half into reserves. My uh, opponent actually left three of his units in reserve. And um, actually, it was three or is it two? Two units in reserve. So his troop and your commander, is that right? Yes. Your, your, yeah, your lieutenant. And then over here, he moved his machine gun team up just you know, his six inches, his troops up behind this sort of mansion. He's got his artillery observer that he just moved to here, and then he's got his mortar that he moved to there. And then now we are going in round two, and I expect that we might be seeing some more action. So we are at end of turn two. Um, not in order, but basically I moved, I took my Greyhound, and I actually fired my coaxial machine gun and my HMG at the for the, the actual artillery observer over there. Now, I needed, I was at long range, I had advanced, I went through cover, and it was a small team, so I needed more than a six. I got four sixes, but I couldn't get in double six on anything, so I didn't actually end up hitting him. Um, as well, um, his medium machine gun actually did shoot my Greyhound, and it ended up um, just putting a pin on him because he can't actually wound him, you know, or um, he can't, but he can pin with small arms. He moved his his team into this building, and I had, he also called in a fire strike with his artillery. Now, when that happened, my guys essentially scattered. I had a medium machine gun team here that just, that moved here. Um, this, this team moved up this way. Another team and the, my HQ moved into this building, and then this team scattered, well, ran over here, advanced, fired on the building uh, with that unit in it, but actually couldn't, couldn't hit anybody. Um, as well, um, the mortar team took a shot at my unit that was here before the airstrike was called and missed, and he got on both his uh, other unit over there from reserves and then his HQ also came on and he is standing right behind the building right here. Okay, so from there we will now start the next round with an artillery strike to this area. So we're back with round three, had a little bit more action this time. This unit actually advanced, um, this, my opponent's infantry advanced forward and caused one casualty and pin on this unit. Subsequently at one point in the game they actually returned fire and uh, they made their, their test. Uh, lost their pin, essentially uh, took in a, put a pin on my opponent and ended up causing him to lose somebody. Um, 
These guys, essentially, all they did was just run back to where they were after the artillery strike. This unit here advanced up, caused a, a pin on this building. Um, this guy here fired his light anti-tank gun and heavy machine gun. The heavy machine gun actually went through and did actually cause a casualty and a pin as well. This unit advanced out of the building, fired and, and didn't. nothing went through at, at this building here. His um, HQ actually came around and took a shot at, was it this one? At this unit here and missed. Um, your machine gun, medium machine gun fired again on my Greyhound but missed this time. Um, the mortar fired on this unit here. It was one of these two units and missed. Um, his Ford Artillery Observer or, or, yeah, actually fired into these guys and missed. And that's pretty much it. So we had a couple of casualties and a couple of pins, but really nothing dramatic in this round. So now we're actually going into round four. So we are back with round four and a lot more action happened this time. We started out with the mortar team, ended up actually firing on this squad when they were over here and hit, because um, it'd been the second time, the second attempt, he started out with that and was able to hit. And so I ended up taking two pins uh, with that. Um, then essentially, this, this gunner um, just ended up moving up is all he did. He just ended up running. And this team over here came out from cover and fired on here and, and took one guy, put one pin. Um, they passed their order test and immediately shot back and, and really did a lot of damage. I ended up having, I lost four guys, ended up having to take a morale check and passed. Um, the, the artillery observer came up from to here, fired on them and missed. Over here, these guys got shot by the heavy machine gun team and ended up getting um, a pin and losing one guy. They proceeded to fire on his um, second lieutenant, which was just right in front of this door, ended up taking out the gunner and, uh, you know, basically put a pin on him. Then uh, his, his lieutenant did a run move and actually ran behind uh, that wall. These guys in here were not able to actually pass their orders test, so they went down. Um, the Greyhound actually moved up behind the tree, fired upon the machine gun team and gave them a pin and took one guy. And then lastly, these guys passed the order test, they got hit with a mortar, um, ran forward and then they shot, who, I believe they shot into, they shot into the, the lieutenant over here before he had moved, but actually um, due to a small team, due to distance and cover and everything, we're not able to get anything through. So, and so that's it. Fair bit more action this round. And we're going into round five. So we're actually now finished with turn five. My medium machine gun team fired on this infantry unit up in the corner and missed. My team had three guys fired on them and actually took one guy off and it made a pin marker. They proceeded to fire back and actually took one of my guys and gave me a pin marker. Uh, so this, they're sort of duking it out. Um, the, this team here came up, up from around here and shot his forward observer, which was in the corner, right, right up there in front of that uh, mortar team and, and killed them. Um, this Greyhound actually fired on his medium machine gun team and took them out. These guys in the building were not able to make their morale test and so went down. Um, this group right here um, shot his HQ that was behind the wall and took him out. And then my HQ right there, the two guys, or actually, sorry, right there, fired on his mortar team, caused one pin and killed one guy. And I think that is it. So we had quite a bit more action. Um, regretfully, my opponent said that it seems to be taking a turn for the worse for the Italians, but we will see in a moment whether they can actually come back Okay, in, in round six. So we just completed round six. My, the machine gun team fired back at his infantry in the corner there and missed. We had basically an ongoing firefight for several rounds now. Um, I lost one guy here and got a pin. He lost 
won and got a pin, but I actually ended up passing my morale test. I've been passing my morale test, so he's not, and that's my my NCO there. He's just basically ramboing it over there. Um, this unit here fired into the building and caused an additional pin and one additional casualty. Um, my Greyhound fired over and killed the mortar team. My HQ, my lieutenant, fired at this infantry team and missed. And then this team fired at the infantry over there and I believe missed. These guys missed, I think, over there. Um, and that is pretty much it. We actually rolled um, to go on to turn seven and we're not going on. Actually, we, the game is over. Um, I have taken out uh, four units to my opponent um, who didn't, unfortunately didn't manage to, to pull this guy off here in the very end and take that one off. So it's, it's a 4-0, which for this scenario um, basically gives the victory to the Americans. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the battle report. Catch you later.